Hi there, this is Kimberly and this tutorial is Bootstrap and Illustrator, how to create your very own color palette for your website and branding. Okay, so by now you know if you're having a website or if you're branding your business, you need some kick-ass colors to work with that really identify you and your brand. So I'm going to talk a little bit about my colors right here. So let me move a few windows out. These are the four website colors that I use on KimberlyGosney.com. I call them my cotton candy bubblegum palette um, because when I look at these colors, they just really remind me of cotton candy and bubblegum. Don't ask why. I have no clue. So I've scoured random places to find these four shades, and I played around with a lot of different colors but really felt very drawn to the power of the pink and the power of the blue and the nice gray that ties it all in and the linen which just looks like cream soda to me in my mind. So first things first, you're going to need about four colors. So you get to go on a little color vacation excursion. So I'm going to show you the two places that I look to the most for colors for my websites when I'm designing something. All right, here we are. The first website is colorlovers.com. That's C-O-L-O-U-R L-O-V-E-R-S dot com. Um, and look, I've got a pop-up message about somebody in Raleigh. Hooray. Okay, so right here you can share color ideas and get inspiration from a creative community of peeps that like colors. So peeps that just love color. Who knew? There was a group of them. But hey, there they are. So you can look around on here and get ideas. You can even do branding like they have trends and branding. So it shows you the popular business colors right now. I mean, hello, small garden logo. That is cute as can be. So go to colorlovers.com and get some ideas. And this is so funny because this Cupcake Confessions right here, their palette's a lot similar to mine, which I just think that's funny. But anyway, so what you need to do if you're on Color Lovers is you'll click on a palette and then you will decide... Um, like, there's the colors right there. So there's your hex codes and your RGB codes. The hex code is the code that you can use as an HTML color code. So be aware, that's the code you need, is that six-digit number right there. And all Fs, that's the color code for white. Not very awesomely original, but definitely an easy one to remember, six Fs. All right, and then let's go to Pantone. Pantone gives you the fashion color reports for fashion industry things all over the world. So if we go back over here one more time, in fall of 2014, you're going to be seeing these colors like everywhere. You're not going to be able to escape them. So this is a great place to come to for design inspiration. They even have palettes that you can buy. I mean, it's just crazy pants, the great colors that Pantone has. And I hope I'm saying that right because I just know it from the web. So anyway, let's get back to our palette. So what we want to do is we want to create a palette in Adobe Illustrator so that we can copy colors because we're going to be using a Illustrator a lot for branding. So let me tell you a little bit about Illustrator if you've never used it before, if you're new to this tutorial series with me. Um, Adobe Illustrator used to be about a $1,200 program. It was super expensive, and I remember the first time I bought it, I choked myself when I hit the buy button because that was $1,200, $1,200, and I was like, <clears throat> so now Adobe, because they've realized the importance of helping the scrappy bootstrapper out, they actually have a creative cloud that you can get. It's Adobe Cloud. And you can get this program on a month-to-month -month basis. So every month you just pay a fee and you get to use it and you get it updated for as long as you like. And you can get plans anywhere from like $20, $30 a month to $60 a month, depending on how many Adobe programs you want to use. But if you're just doing Illustrator, you can also get a free trial for 30 days and and do it that way too. So Bootstrappers Unite, there are ways to get free and low cost amazing programs. If you do decide to do the cloud with Adobe, I promise you, you will never be sorry that you invested your money in Illustrator. It is the one program that I would want if I was stranded on a desert island with just me and my laptop. Okay, so let's get to this palette. Whew, I'm chatty today. So what you're going to do is when you log in, you're going to do File and New. Or a new might pop up for you automatically. You're going to make a 600 pixel by 600 pixel box. And if you don't have pixels checked over here, if it says inches instead, go ahead and switch it over to pixels. 
All of this right here is not important at all unless you're going to be printing things with your color palette. Then in that case, you'll want it set to 300 PPI. That's pixels per inch, which makes it nice and crisp when you're printing. So you're just going to hit OK. So ta-da, you are now left with a solid white box with a black border. We're going to go ahead and um, just look at it for a second. It's just a box. Nothing to be scared of. This is going to be so easy peasy. So the first thing that we're going to do is set up our environment so that your screen looks as close to mine as possible. You're going to check Windows, Workspace, Essentials. Essentials will give you this box right over here on the side. And now we are ready to get started. If your icons look a little different than mine do over here, they're all going to be dropped down if they have a little arrow beside them. So if you have, let's say, a circle here, if yours looks like this, you just click and hold and then slide over to the rectangle. But anything with a little arrow means you've got more than one option. So first things first, we are going to make four boxes that are all squares. So in order to do that, we're just going to click on our rectangle tool. And we're going to come over here and click on the screen with a left click. You're going to put in those boxes 200 pixels and 200 pixels and then hit OK. You've just made your first box. Woohoo! Now you're going to take that box and you're going to slide it over. In order to slide, you're just going to hit the little selection tool arrow, grab the little dot in the middle, left click on it, and slide it over. You can put it anywhere you want. You can also use your up and down arrows. That'll slide it too. So now we've got a box. Now we need another box. So click on the middle of your box and copy and paste another box. Ta-da, you've got a second box. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to grab it with your mouse, left click, and drag it where you want it to go. So now you have two boxes. But guess what? Still need two more. So we're going to now copy both of these boxes at one time. This is a really cool trick. I'm not going to tell you how long it took me to learn this. You're going to left click and draw a box around your two boxes. Now you're going to do copy, paste, ta-da, you've got two more boxes. You're going to just drag those down. Now you're just going to hit anywhere so that it gets rid of all of that. And you're going to go back over the top and you're going to draw a big box that holds all four boxes. And you're going to choose object and group. Let's see, object group. Group makes all those boxes act together, so we can move them all at the same time. You're going to do horizontal align center and vertical align center. And ba bam they are now perfectly in the middle. So we've made a good first start to our boxes. Now we need to color in our boxes because our color palette is not black and white, I'm guessing. So you can click on your very first box and now hit object and ungroup. So now they no longer act together like a little army. So we're going to click on the first box again. Now we are just working with that box. We're going to go down here and remove the black stroke. So click on stroke and click on that little line. That takes the stroke out. So now it's just a plain white box and it actually disappears into the palette. But when you hover over it, like by magic, it comes back. So now we're going to click back on that same box. And we're going to click on this white box, which is your fill box. When you click on fill, your color palette will usually pop up for you. If for some reason it did not, go to window and color. And then you'll be right where I am right now. You are going to put the six digit hex code or HTML code for the color that you like the most in this box. So for me, I'm going to run and grab that so I'm not in La La Land doing something different than you are. And where is my palette? Holy schmoly. Okay, there we go. So for me, I'm going to grab this box color, which is right up here, and I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to move it to this box. And I'm going to put it right here. So that is my color palette for my first color. Ta-da, there it is. I'm also going to copy that number again, and I'm going to hit my text button, and I'm going to come right above my box and click on it, and then I'm going to paste that number right there. Then you just click with your mouse and hold it to highlight that whole color number and make it a good big chunky 36 pixels. That way it's nice and big and easy for you to read, and then if you left click it, you can slide it wherever you want it to go.
Okay, so for my second color, oh, and also if this box is in the way, you can left click and move it out of your um, palette. So next, we're going to click on the next box. We're going to take away by clicking on the stroke and clicking on the none and removing the background color. And then we're going to add the color of our next color in our color palette. For me, it's going to be my blue. And you're going to hit enter. Then see how it puts it on the outside edge right there? So if I let, so if I get away, my box is blue on the outside but not in the middle. If you click on it again, you can click this handy dandy arrow swap and it'll make it blue. Then we're going to click back on that stroke and remove it because we don't want any colors around our box. Then when you click on it again, you're going to need to get the color one more time to put it in your text. So if for some reason your color transforms into a different color, like for me it went to the white background, you can click on the eyedropper tool right here and then click on the box and voila, there's the color for you to copy and paste. So you're going to copy it, you're going to choose the type tool, you're going to come back over the top of your box and you're going to paste it in place. Then you can use your selection tool up here to grab it and put it down with the other. So now we've got two colors in our palette. So let's see how we're going to work the third and fourth color. Click on your box, remove your stroke, come back up to your fill, go over to your number and put in your next color number and hit enter. Voila! Now we have a pink box. That's my next color. Now I'm going to copy my color, use my type tool, go above my box, paste the color in, grab the selection tool, and slide it over and into place. So that's my third color. Very last, click on it, remove the black box, click on the white box, put your color number right on there, hit enter, then you're going to use your type tool, you're going to add that color right there to that box. Okay, so now you have a palette. Ta-da! How easy was that? So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and do File, Save As, and I make my own palettes file. So what you can do is wherever you're saving them to, make yourself a new folder called color palettes or colors and then hit create. And now I'm just going to save this as my website name and I'm going to put colors. So that way anytime I need them, they are right there ready to go. And then I'm just going to hit save. And then all of this, you're going to leave it just like it is, and you're going to hit OK. So there you have it. Now you've got your very first Adobe Illustrator color palette. Wow! Yay! You did it! Give yourself a pat on the back. Woo! Woo! Thanks, and bye!